all right guys welcome to day two and today what we are going to be doing is that we are going to be changing the title of this window and maybe I adding a beautiful icon for not icon what the fuck is my English doing icon for my uh, music player that is the melody music player so the changing title part is pretty easy you just write root dot title and then inside I'm just going to write melody because this is my music player's name you can change it to anything else you want and let's actually run it again to see if it's working or not and yeah it's not big enough but yeah our title of the window has changed so what we are going to do is uh, we are going to add an icon in this Kinta window one thing that you need to know in Kinta is that it only supports .ico extension so if you have a png file or um, some kind of uh, jpeg file you need to first convert it to into an ICO file that is ICO file so what I'm going to do is I'm going to this website it's called flaticon.com which has like amazing PNG vectors and free icons basically so what I can do is I can just search for music and let's just scroll through this and find out a good just just a good icon for us and uh, yeah this seems like pretty good so I'm just going to add it and then I'm going to download this collection even though I have just one icon and I, I think I'm going to download it in a very small format just 64 pixels should be more than enough and I'm downloading it for free so let's see all right it has downloaded as music player so where it has downloaded let me just copy and paste it on my desktop all right so it's easier for me and then I'm just going to go to this website it's called icoconvert.com which is used I, there are a lot of websites you can just google it I, i'm just using it I, I don't know whether it works or not i just found this website right now so i'm just going to upload my um, file if this doesn't work we'll have to look at a new file but anyways i'm just going to upload this uploading wait a minute perfect apply styles i don't want to apply any style i want um ico perfect convert to ico let's just wait for some time uh, yeah it's, it's done so download your icon and boom it's here so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to copy this icon from over here and I'm going to paste it inside my PyCharm file so let's just paste it inside it inside the melody and I'm just going to change it a little bit I'm just going to rename it to melody.ico all right and this looks pretty good let me just cross this out terminate all right so how, how do you change the melody ICO change the um, icon of the window basically to melody.ico for that we have also a pretty easy thing to do we just write root then icon dot bitmap and inside this we write r then single quotes now what this r stand for is r is basically raw string whenever you want to enter a location or something uh, you basically use this small r which stands for raw string all right you don't need to worry about this too much it just means that hey type in the location so if this file instead of in your main project it's somewhere in c drive or some e drive uh, you know i don't recommend that but if it's somewhere else you can put in the location like of c and then maybe users or something like that i don't know so anyways what we have done is we have put the location as um, inside the melody inside this melody folder so i think we just need to write down the melody thing and it should be fine as 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 much as i remember i'm not sure because if it doesn't work then we'll have to change it to maybe c or something anyways let's run this on main file and oh yeah it works so as you can see now the topmost icon of this uh, thing has changed now what i want to do is basically whenever for demonstration purposes obviously whenever i'm uh, running this file so for example when i run this file the melody title is not like visible so i want to just for this video i want to increase the size of this window uh, by a code so what you can do is you can use the geometry option of kinter so you can just write root dot geometry and then inside single quotes you can give the width and the height so i'm going to give it the width of maybe 300 and then you just need to write small x and then give the height of the window let's run it again and this time the window is actually a little bit bigger so if you want to increase it more just write 400 or 400 something something like that you can you can increase it whenever you want uh, so guys this is pretty much it for day two 
So what I'm planning to do is uh, actually create a kind of a 30 day system for the people um, who visit Build with Python, uh, Build with Python YouTube channel. And they can just come to this uh, channel and watch various 30 day challenges in which whenever, uh, whenever me as a coder, whenever I started learning coding, anything like maybe Python or data science or machine learning and development, there was just a lot of pressure on me to learn things very, very quickly. And my main aim with build with Python is that people should not be afraid, especially people who are just starting out of like, you know, learning something like in just one day, give yourself some space, you know, let's just start learning things easily. So the idea is just do one thing, one small thing to learn a concept daily. So for example, in Python um, GUI programming, that is Kinter, uh, I'm just explaining one concept or maybe two, three small concepts daily so that uh, there are not a lot of pressure on people. They can just be like, okay, I finished day one, finished day two, and kind of gamify the whole learning uh, part of uh, coding. So yeah, guys, uh, this is pretty much it. I'll see you on day three.